Hey folks, Philly Boy Jay here back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I make oven baked chicken. Here are the seasonings that I like to use on my oven baked chicken. I like to use onion powder. I think that onion powder gives baked chicken a really good flavor. We're going to be using some seasoning salt. I like to use parsley flakes. Most times I use fresh parsley, but I'm going to be using parsley flakes today. I like to use garlic, obviously. Everybody use garlic on chicken. They use garlic on pretty much everything. I'm going to be using some black pepper. And we're going to be using Italian seasoning because it has pretty much every herb that you can think of in it. It has rosemary in it, thyme in it, basil. Pretty much everything is in Italian seasoning, all right? So those are the seasonings that I use when making baked chicken. So make sure you have all of these seasonings you're also going to need some chicken broth you can use water because the flavor from the chicken is going to turn the water into a broth anyway so if you don't have chicken stock that's fine you can just settle with using water but the more flavor the better so i'm going to be using chicken stock or broth and I'm going to be using some apple cider vinegar. Yes, I put apple cider vinegar in my oven baked chicken. Try it out, guys. You are going to love it. Now, some people don't like vinegar because obviously we hate the smell of vinegar. And some people are just like little children when it comes to vinegar. They're like, ooh, smell not so pleasant, so I don't want to use it. But it gives oven baked chicken a great flavor. Make sure that you try it. A lot of people have given it a shot on my previous channel. And they was like, Jay, I'm so glad that I used that apple cider vinegar. It really takes the chicken to another level. I have confidence that you guys are going to love oven baked chicken with the addition of apple cider vinegar. So make sure you use it. All right. You're also going to need some butter or some margarine, as I have here. So let's focus on our chicken now. Okay guys, so what we're gonna do first is we're going to clean our chicken and that includes removing the excess fat from our thighs. You can use whatever kind of chicken pieces you want for this recipe, but I'm gonna be using chicken thighs and wings. Okay, but you can use drumsticks if you want. I just personally don't really care for drumsticks. But all this fat here, for those of you who don't know, you're gonna remove all of this beige color fat. So remove as much of that as possible. Thighs are the most fatty part of a chicken it has the most fat so it requires more preparation than the other chicken parts like the wings drumsticks actually I think breasts have a lot of fat so I don't really cook breasts with the bone in it when I do make breasts I usually use um, boneless chicken breasts but I'm going to remove the fat here that's what you're gonna do. Remove all this excess fat here. It's a lot of fat that you gotta remove. And you're going to, you're gonna leave some of this fat on. But you're gonna remove this part right here, like that excess fat. You're gonna cut a large portion of that off. Now with your wings, there might not be a lot of fat that you need to remove from your wings but there may be some excess fat near the end of the winget right here. So make sure you cut that off. I'm gonna do all these wings and chicken pieces and I'll get back with you guys once I'm done. Okay guys, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add our chicken to this bowl and we're going to just let them sit in this bowl for a little while just to make sure they're nice and clean and we're going to sprinkle them with some salt and let them sit in some salt 
water solution. Spill them with a little salt. Just always like to make sure that my chicken is clean. Okay. Let that sit. We're going to move on to the next step and focus on our seasonings. There's a new method that I use when seasoning my meats with multiple seasonings. I just like to combine them together. So that's what we're going to do now. Okay, guys. So we're going to combine our seasonings now. Um, there's one thing that I want to mention that I like to do just for the best results possible. Um, what I do sometimes is I season my meat and I let it sit in the refrigerator overnight just to marinate it. So it's not something you have to do, but that's an option. Okay. My grandma um, used to always marinate her meats. So we added our seasoning salt, we added our onion powder, we added now our garlic powder. We're now adding our black pepper, our parsley flakes. And our Italian seasoning. Okay. Do we want to stir seasonings in? This is personally a step that I like to do just to give my chicken additional flavor. Like I stated earlier, um, you're going to get a measuring cup and you're going to add your butter or margarine to the measuring cup or bowl. Okay. We're going to add our chicken stock. And we're going to add our apple cider vinegar. And we're going to microwave this for about 40 seconds to melt the butter. Okay guys, so what you're gonna do first is you're gonna preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Give our oven time to preheat. And the first thing that we're going to add to our chicken is the broth, vinegar, and butter solution. Okay. You're going to massage that in. Just to let you know, the vinegar, in my personal opinion, also helps to brown the chicken better as well. Massage this thing. So yeah, the butter and the vinegar together really helps to give your chicken a nice color. Make sure it's saturated and all this flavor. Okay guys, so what you're gonna do now is you're going to place your chicken in the baking pan and you're going to place it in their skin side down first. Like that. This includes the wings. There. I'm going to take the seasoning and Season our chicken. Okay. 
This is just half that I'm using. Slide it in really well. Okay, then you're gonna turn your chicken over. I like to get under the thigh skin, by the way. And make sure that the tips of the wings are covered some way or tucked under the thighs like this because they cook fast and you don't want them to burn. They just look a little unattractive. Yeah, guys, I'm super fishy. <laughs> like I said before, I like my food to taste good and look good. This is an art. Because you got to have the food looking good to make people want to even try it. I've seen food that don't look that appetizing, but it really was good. But because it wasn't appeasing to the eye, people didn't even want to give it a chance. So, got to make sure that you can attract people to the food before you get them to eat it. That's the key, that's the key. And make sure you use a bigger baking pan than this one I'm using here. Okay guys, so what I like to do is base my chicken. Um, you can see that there's a nice amount of juice in the baking pan and that's because of the juice that come from the chicken itself once the heat hits it. But I just base it a little bit just to make sure that it get that nice color that I want. I only do this maybe about two to three times as it's baking, but you want to drain most of this juice after about the first hour and I'm going to let it continue cooking for about another half an hour. All right. So now that I got done basting the chicken, I'm going to drain most of this juice here. I'm going to leave a little bit in the pan but after an hour base drain most of the juice and then put it back in the oven and let it continue cooking for about another 20 or 30 minutes okay I'll get back with you guys once it's complete okay guys so here is our baked chicken is done we're going to get ready to plate it now here is our oven baked chicken hope you guys enjoy it it tastes amazing mm, 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 mm. sprinkle some of that juice over Hope you guys enjoy. I'm about to grow up. Peace.